January 20th, 2018. Overland Park police officers arrive for a welfare check on 17-year-old John Elbers. Doorbell and dash cam video show Officer Clayton Jennison pull a service weapon out of his holster as the garage door opens and Elbers begins to back out the family minivan. Jennison fired 13 shots, killing the teen. But John's mother isn't satisfied with the city's justification for the shooting. There is um, a piece of me that has no peace because there have been no answers. And Sheila Albers believes at least some of those answers will be found in the long since completed report by the Johnson County Officer Involved Shooting Investigation Team, or OSIT. However, the city of Overland Park has denied the Albers family, 41 Action News, and the public access to the OSIT report. It's unconscionable that the city finds this Okay. The world will not stop spitting on its axis if those files are made public. 41 Action News's complaint highlights the conflicting information from officials. For example, attorney Bernie Rhodes points to a written statement Mayor Carl Gerlach made a few days after the deadly shooting. Gerlach wrote, At this time, the Johnson County officer-involved shooting investigation team is conducting a criminal investigation. The mayor added, These findings will be made public at the appropriate time. What do you think about the mayor's statement? False promises. Uh, he, he has not kept his word. Instead of releasing the report publicly, our lawsuit complaint highlights the conflicting stories by officials. As the complaint notes, Overland Park Police Chief Frank Donchez and Johnson County District Attorney Steve Howe announced a few weeks after the shooting, Jennison would not be charged with a crime. At that announcement, Rhodes points to Howe's release of what he called a fact sheet. In that sheet, Howe claimed as the boy backed the minivan out of the garage, Jennison was standing directly behind it. Howe claimed for that reason, Jennison feared he would be run over and opened fire in self-defense. Based on the evidence that we have available, that that was a reasonable belief. He disseminated a false narrative is what he did. Evidence in the case shows all 13 bullets Jennison shot went through passenger side windows. The back windshield Howe claimed Jennison was standing right behind had no damage. As we say in the lawsuit, bullets don't bend. In the now settled Albers wrongful death lawsuit, federal judge Daniel Crabtree found facts that contradict Howe. Judge Crabtree wrote, Officer Jennison was not standing in a confined area or in the van's direct path. Steve Howe is not entitled to his own version of the facts. The facts are the facts. Additionally, our lawsuit notes Chief Donchez publicly claimed Jennison left the Overland Park Police Department for personal reasons. However, this past June, the I-Team was first to report Overland Park paid Jennison $70,000 to resign. Steve Howe and Frank Donchez have told so many stories that they make the little boy who cried wolf look like a saint. Following the I-Team's report on Jennison's $70,000 buyout, our lawsuit states Mayor Gerlach held a news conference in August to answer questions on the Albers case and Jennison's buyout. At that news conference, Gerlach said Overland Park City Manager Bill Ebel made the decision to buy out Jennison, even though Johnson County officials like Chief Donchez and Howe had repeatedly said Jennison did nothing wrong when he fatally shot John Albers. You mentioned that Bill Ebel was the one who made this decision. Why isn't he here answering the questions about it? Because he's the one who made it. You know, this is a re this is a press conference that I decided to hold Bill's not here. Bill Ebel, the city manager of Overland Park, is like the great Oz behind the curtain, manipulating everything that goes on, but refuses to come out and publicly defend his actions. While Rhodes said it took him months to put together our lawsuit, he points out in the suit it took the OSIT team only six days to finish its report on the Elber shooting. I'm not claiming the OSIT file wasn't complete because I don't know, but I know it's more complete than what I have. I won't have peace completely around losing my son until I can see the records surrounding the night of January 20th. In response to our lawsuit, Overland Park spokesman Sean Riley wrote, quote, we will respond to any allegations through the court. You can read our entire lawsuit complaint online at KSHB.com. At Overland Park City Hall, I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.